Monkey mind is the emotional part of the mindset that we all have. It's that conversation that we have that can be quite loud, quite self-debilitating. Uh, it can have a negative connotation. It can tell you, don't, don't, do don't swim with the sharks, don't swim with the sharks, don't swim with the sharks. And this is what your monkey mind is. It will be driven by something that's happened in the past or something that's going to happen in the future. And we get lost in the worry, the stress, the anxiety of, of both actions. And we can't go back to the past and change anything. And we can't control the future. But this is why your monkey, monkey mind uh, can be quite loud. All right? And the easiest way we, we like to, to, to show what monkey mind is for anybody, especially for the new people, is when you go to bed at night time, for a lot of people, their head hits the pillar, and it's like the floodgates are opened up. And whatever's happened to you in the day, the week, the month, or oh, what's going to be happening to you, your head is the pillar, the floodgates open up, and that conversation just goes round and round and round. And that is how loud our monkey mind can be. And it can stop you sleeping. It can stop you functioning. It can stop you listening and being engaged in what we're doing. And we get lost in the worry, and it takes away, it steals how fabulous the day is, all right? Because we get so lost in these conversations with ourselves. And again, we've mentioned this at previous lectures, uh, especially for couples. It can be so loud sometimes when our partners say, you're not listening to me. It's not that we're not listening. We've just got this internal thought process going, uh, which is driven by something in the past or something in the future, and it's really, really loud. And what we do, the, the, one of the simplest tricks that I found many, many years ago when I first started uh, doing this uh, was it gets, it's, it, it, there is something we can do. All right, we can start redirecting it somewhere else and we can start the relaxation techniques. Uh, and I found a difference within myself within two weeks. And I found a difference within myself so much so that my family noticed a difference within myself after two weeks. By giving yourself that practice of doing it. Because the thought processes, they're always going to come in. But we're going to start practicing to let them come in, offer them no judgment, let them go. And that's the monkey mind relaxation with the tips that we've been talking about. And then at the end, uh, we'll be giving a little tip that really does make your uh, monkey mind go quite loud at some times. All right? And we've asked those questions. Anybody struggle with stress? Anxiety? Worry? <laughs> every, every word I mention, your shoulders get, yep, yep. yep. Yeah, that's me. Oh, and I get both. And this is what we do with all these actions, with all these thought processes that we have. We manifest it within ourselves. And it's what hunches our shoulders over. It's what hunches our back over. If you're, if you're sat at work and you work on a computer, you'll just be hunched over trying to deal with the problems. And that's, it manifests in the rest of the body. And this is what monkey mind will do. And you'll notice when you start doing your monkey mind, uh, when you sit with the relaxation, and we give you a very basic breathing technique. The breath is the elixir of life. And what you'll find is when you think, oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not stressed, that's fine. And you'll keep breathing, your shoulders will slip a little bit more. It's like, oh, I'm even more relaxed than I was two minutes ago. And then a little bit further into the relaxation, your shoulders will slip even more. You're like, oh, I thought I was relaxed. Now I'm not relaxed. By the end of the 20 minutes or the 15, 20 minutes that you get yourself into, you'll really feel your shoulders drop more, your muscles drop more. You're like, oh, I thought I was relaxed before. Because we do. It's, it's just how we perceive everything. And we've talked about this. The more erratic your monkey mind is, it's how you see and perceive the day. So the calmer your monkey mind is, and you get the calmness from doing the relaxation technique every day and giving yourself that practice. And again, you are in a perfect place right now. You are on a ship. You're on holiday. You're on vacation. You're enjoying yourself. You can find yourself 5, 10, 15 minutes today to do the relaxation part. The real uh, challenge for you is when you go home, when you go back to real life, <laughs> where you go back to everything that's going on, you're going to have to find time for yourself. And it's this beautiful thing that you take away and you can start practicing when you go home. And it is about setting yourself up. Routine is one of the best things your monkey mind can get. Because if it's your first time today, your monkey mind might say, no, nope, not doing this. Might have an argument with yourself, like, no, I'm not doing this, this is, no, I'm not counting, no, I'm not breathing, I'm not counting. Because your monkey mind is so loud. However, for the people that have been here for a few times, your monkey mind will start going, after a few sessions, four, five sessions, your monkey mind will start going, oh, excuse me, can, can we do that little five minute thing, that breathing thing we do, because it works for both of us. So it will start working with you. And that's what it's going to be. So the breathing technique, for any kind of stressful technique, that you, uh, stressful situation you get yourself into, take a step back 
and focus on your breath. Any kind of relaxation that you do, any kind of, if you've looked into meditation, mindfulness, we're basically going to focus on one thing. Everything that we take in from our, from our conscious mind and our subconscious mind is overwhelming. We think we're looking here, your subconscious mind works here. So we're taking everything in, and there's a lot, there's people talking in the background, there's, there's negative things going on over there. So we have to make it so, and it gets overwhelming. That's when the, the, the panic attacks arrive in, that's when the stress arrives in. And as we've mentioned earlier in the previous uh, lectures, it is easier to be negative, it's easier to give up, it's easier to say, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. Because your monkey man will say, no, don't do that. All right, so for anyone, if you've ever tried diets and things like that, after two weeks, oh, I've only lost a pound, I'm not going to do it anymore. All right, it's easier to say, no, it's not working. And that's why you have to keep convincing, convincing yourself and keep practicing, and it will start making benefits for yourself, okay? And again, relaxation, we're going to start focusing on one thing. And at Monkey Mind Relaxation, all you focus on is your breath. Your monkey mind's going to want to focus on absolutely everything else. But we're going to keep bringing the focus back to the breath. The breath is the here, it's the now, and it's the present. It's not yesterday. It's not tomorrow. It's now. And that's why we calm ourselves out. That's why the monkey mind relaxation works, is because you're going to focus on one thing. Your monkey mind wants to focus on everything else. And it's going to be so angry about everything else as well. They'll be focusing on what somebody else is doing. And that's going to infuriate you more. Because that's what comes back to the judgment we talked about earlier. Because your judgment says, well, no, you shouldn't be doing that. So you're looking at everybody else. Well, why are you doing that? Because that's not what I do. And that infuriates the monkey mind more. So we focus on here, the now, the present. And that's what will calm your monkey mind down. And it, will, it, will, it gives you this clarity. It's the clarity of, oh... That's it. I don't need to have the stress. Now this is the decision we're going to make. Okay? And your, your, your thought processes, your conscious mind, will get clearer and clearer and clearer the more you practice the monkey mind. So, for the newbies, the monkey mind is very simple. We focus on the breath and only the breath. And you focus on the breath as you sit down. Once the music starts, we'll put some music on. It will be very calming. It will take you on a nice, lovely little journey. And what you'll find is the quieter your monkey mind, that conversation we have with ourselves, the quieter it gets, the louder the music gets. And it's the quieter your monkey mind gets, the more ideas, the more creative, the more open we are to change, to new things. It's such a clever technique we can give ourselves that makes you more open. Because there's less conversations going on, and that's what it's all about. Your monkey mind... <laughs> Your monkey mind is very, very loud. All right, so we need to give it to do. It's very strong. Don't forget, we can't control our monkey mind. We can start learning to find out what's happening and working with it. And that's the tips we've had from the previous classes that are showing on channel number 14 for you as well. Okay, so we're going to focus on the breath. You're going to sit with your feet nicely planted on the floor. Back's nice and straight. Get yourself out of the sleeping position because for some people, you might fall asleep. If you've got anything in your hands, you're holding onto a handbag, compass, cup of coffee, just put it down to the side. Okay. And once we get started, we're going to ask you to close your eyes and we're going to focus on the breath. You're going to focus on the sensation of the breath as you breathe in. Breathe in through your nose if you can. Take one deep breath in. And out. You breathe in through your nose, you'll feel the sensation. That's one part of the misdirection, is the sensation of the breath as you breathe in through your nose. When you breathe out through your mouth, purse your lips like you're blowing out a candle so you can feel the breath as it leaves the mouth. So you breathe in the future. You let go of the past. That's another focus. Breathing in. And breathing out. If only your monkey mind could work on that, that would be awesome. But your monkey mind is so loud. Your monkey mind, we need to give it a misdirection. We need to give it something to do so it doesn't keep going, taka, 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 taka. We need to talk about something that happened four years ago. It's really important. So we need to give it a misdirection. 
we're going to give it some juggling balls. The juggling balls are a count of one, two, three as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, you count one, two, three. The count is an internal count. Don't count loudly. So as you breathe in, you're going one, two, three. One, two, three. Because that will annoy everybody else's monkey mind around you. So that is an internal count. As you breathe in, you're going to count one, two, three. And as you breathe out, one, two, three. That is the juggling balls. You're going to give your monkey mind. You're going to give it something to do. However, your monkey mind is very sneaky. It also gets bored very quickly. And your monkey mind will say, no, nah, not doing that. We need to talk about something that happened last week. We need to talk about something that happened yesterday. And this is the tip to monkey mind relaxation. First of all, acknowledge the conversation. Okay, I'm not counting anymore. Tip number two, do not interact with the conversation. You've, not, you've acknowledged it, but you do not carry on that conversation. Tip number three, as Frozen once said, let it go, reset, and you bring it back to the breath. So acknowledge it, do not interact with the conversation, let that conversation and that thought process go, reset, and bring it back to the breath. And if it's your first time today, you'll have quite a few resets because you're going to notice that your monkey mind is really, really loud. Over time, the practice of doing monkey mind relaxation, your monkey mind gets calmer and quieter and calmer and quieter. And that's when you'll start noticing the benefits with yourself. You'll have more energy. Your thought processes, your decision making will be a lot easier. And that's the calmness of the monkey mind relaxation. So. When we get started, if anyone gets into a little bit of a coughing fit, one cough, two coughs, more than welcome to, that's fine. If you find yourself getting into a little coughing fit, take yourself out, get yourself a little drink, come back. Okay? The more and more relaxed you get, the more and more beneficial it's going to be for everyone and yourself around. And the calmer your monkey mind gets, the benefit of monkey mind relaxation is it works for you, you're going to get calmer. And the benefit of that is the four people around you will then get calmer. And then the four people around you, they'll be calmer, so the four people around them get calmer. I'm saying calmer, not calmer. Because <laughs> that's how it works. It's something that we do for ourselves to make us calmer. Works on both ways, I suppose. It makes you calmer, and then everybody else around you is calmer. So remember when it comes back to that sausage dealer uh, stories, of which we'll mention again in another class for you as well, is it's going to be easier, and what we do at the Monkey Mind Relaxation is we work on changing ourselves to react less to everything else that annoys us that goes on, instead of trying to change the 100 people or the 100 things that annoys us to make us calmer. So we're going to start changing the way we react to all the outside stresses instead of trying to change the outside stressors to make us calmer. So it's actually a really simple, easy process of where we're going to change ourselves with a simple relaxation technique, and you'll see the benefits of how we react to all the things that have possibly been the things that have annoyed us, made us angry, frustrated, stressed. So that's the beauty of monkey mind relaxation. Okay, everybody, close your eyes. I'm going to put the music on. I will talk for the first two minutes just to guide you in your relaxation. Take a deep breath in. And out. Focus on the breath as you breathe in. And as you breathe out. When you breathe in, count one, two, three, and as you breathe out, two, three. Just focus on the breath 
as you breathe in. And as you breathe out. With every breath in, you get calmer. And out is a release. Once your conversation starts again, of which it will, acknowledge it. Do not interact with it. Let it go. Reset and bring it back to the breath. The breath is the here and the now. It will calm you down. Take a deep breath in. And out. Wiggle your toes. Shake your tush. Arms up. Good morning. Welcome back. Stretch it out. Absolutely. So, for the newbies especially, first question, who's got a real loud chimp? Who's got a real loud monkey? Yes. First thing we have to do is acknowledge it. We now know there is that conversation that's going on. All right, for some people, it's like two gorillas fighting in a cage. It is our emotions. It's something that's happened in the past, something that's going to happen in the future. And we can, and we do have the ability, and we make the choice. It is definitely us that makes the choice on how the day is going to be. So what we did want to talk about is uh, the worry of what other furs, others think of us. Anybody have that worry? Of course we do. That's why we're at the class. Okay. What other people think of us actually has got nothing to do with you. It's of no interest to you whatsoever what other people think of you. What's the important part is what we think of ourselves. That is really, really important. Now, remember, to reverse the impact, what we think of ourselves is really, really important. Most people will make a judgment based on you, on their monkey mind. So most people are going to make assumptions of you as a person based on how you have been brought up. Also, depending on the state of their monkey mind, if they're more erratic, if they're a, more, uh, a little bit more emotional, then they will make a, a conscious decision based on how they're feeling. So most people's opinions of you are going to be based on their thoughts, their processes. So it can never really be trusted. We need to start trusting ourselves. And that's the beauty of monkey mind relaxation. How do we know when we can trust your own monkey mind? When you can trust your own monkey mind, you will be confident. You will be positive. You will think clearly. Because we're not going to be driven by something that's happened in the past. Most of our overthinking comes from something that's happened in the past. It's going to happen to us again in the future. Not always the case. All right? Well, none of us are perfect. All right? You'll be completely open-minded. You'll be compromising. You'll be calm. That is what you will do with a monkey mind. Once that monkey mind starts getting reset, we start letting things go, you will be clear. Your conscience will be more clearer. You will have more open thinking. It's great. It really is. You will see a difference with yourselves. The judgments that you had for people in the past will be gone. You will understand that everybody's different. You will understand that, okay, if you're thinking, oh, I, I think, oh, oh, no, that's your monkey mind. It will confuse, it will murky the waters for you, if you wish. You will have that clarity. The calmer your monkey mind is, you'll be more trusting. Your decisions will be made more out of love than fear. If your decisions are made out of fear, such as I don't trust that person, that person, oh, I remember that time two years ago, somebody threw me under the bus, that person's going to do the same thing. That will be a decision and a judgment made out of fear, not out of love. The acceptance that everybody, again, it comes back to setting the expectations of which we talked about many, many, a uh, couple of days ago, the beginning of the cruise, setting the appropriate expectations of people around us. Instead of having the highest expectations of everyone around, well, I wouldn't do this, so I don't expect everybody else to do this. 
and you have high expectations of everybody around you, then you're constantly getting let down. We change it, or I have to change. This is all the th tips that I had. This is reason I could walks around really, really happy all the time. is because I have the lowest expectations of everybody around me. That way I never get let down. I understand that somebody might want to push me under a bus for whatever reason. That's fine. That's for them to do. I accept that. That way I never. So I am constantly surprised by how good and fantastic people are because I have those low expectations. So I have the expectations of a day of today might not be the best day, but I'm fine with that. We can still make it great. Instead of having the expectations of this is going to be the best day ever, then by 9.30 in the morning something's gone wrong. Oh, it's not a good day now, is it? No, the whole day's been ruined. It's been ruined by that one action, that one sausage dealer. For the people that have not... <laughs> see, I'm using some words now, like, what's a sausage dealer? All right, we'll talk about that in the next... So come back to the, uh, to the next class. We'll, we'll re-go uh, re, re over that for you for the sausage dealers. All right, don't forget, you can join us on the Monkey Mind uh, Relaxation Facebook group. Uh, there's about 300 people in there already. We've only been doing this for about a month and a half down here. Uh, so the group's growing really, really fast. Some great tips in there, and everything we've talked about here gets put back into there as well. And then some of our guests who've been on board, they start getting really into monkey mind and they start saying how it's worked well for them. When you walk away from this cruise, you start realizing that that chatter gets a little bit louder. So right, okay, I'm gonna acknowledge it. I'm not gonna interact with it. I'm gonna let it go and we're gonna reset. And that simple tip that you take away from monkey mind relaxation will set you up for so much more successes so much more helpful for yourself and the benefits you will see with yourself and it's the energy that you get uh, for life. And everybody always comes to me and says, oh, God, you've got too much energy. Thank you. Much appreciated. I, 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 look, honestly, it's, that, it's those thought processes that bog us down and once your monkey mind starts getting karma, of which it will, you will see a benefit with yourself. You will see how it benefits everybody around you. Thank you so much for coming to the, uh, the, the class again. It's great to see so many faces from all the uh, other classes as well. Much appreciated. Come back. There's a, there's a couple more for the cruise as well. And we've got one of our staff on board who does uh, an emotional uh, balance, cultivating emotion, uh, emotional balance. Has anybody been dropping by those classes? And the lady's fascinating, huh? What, what a great lady. She's changed with some absolutely amazing people. All right. So uh, that's it. I think that's in the comes today at, have you seen it? It's not on today, so ch keep checking it out because they're on uh, opposite days and things like that. So please check that out, uh, one of those classes. I know it's on tomorrow. I think it's at 1.30. But always check the compass. Uh, actually, we do make changes. Thank you very much for everyone. If anybody's got any questions, you're more than welcome to come down and ask those questions.